Well, hello there and welcome to day 11 of our 40-day prayer journey using the book called Why Pray by John DeVries. And we're so glad that you have joined us to this point, day 11 already. Um, and uh, we're, we're continuing in this week and the theme for the week is Why Pray First? And, and today's devotion is entitled, Who is First? He or, or I? I like to think of myself as a, a systems guy. Uh, my heart for ministry is that, that I want to find people who are as um, fired up about ministry as, as I am, fired up to serve God, find a place for them uh, to, to use their gifts and, and abilities, and then, and then loose them to do that work that they're involved in. And early on in the life of the church, we, we very carefully put systems together, leadership teams and finance teams and, and staff. Um, we put together organizational charts and budgets that are, are really so important in the life of any organization. And sometimes we do have uh, a tendency to think that if we have, if we have great systems, well, well, God will just say, well done, and then grow, grow the church. You know what I have found that, that that's not always the case. You can have great systems, but if God doesn't, um, if, if God isn't doing the work, when we don't invite him to, to lead the work, we can beat ourselves to death um, and see no results. And even recently, I have noticed that, that fewer and fewer people are showing up for, for prayer times, whether they're the ones that we have here at the church or ones that we organize for, for the community, um, the ones where we invite people from all over the valley to, to pray. And, and I, can, I can really get pretty discouraged when, when people don't come. I've even, I've even found myself saying that, that we aren't, we aren't going to do them anymore if, if people aren't going to bother to come. And, and then I'm reminded, I'm reminded that those prayer times are the, the very ones where, where God seems to, to bless the, the work that, that we're about to do, whether, whether the gathering is 10 people or 25 people or 100 people that, that show up. I want that to be a reminder for all of us that, that God is the one who does the work. And, and it's, not, it's not we that, that do the work. We do the work through His power. We don't do it in our own strength. Yes, He uses us, but, but really He accomplishes that work when we pray, when we pray first. So um, here, here's the, the discussion question, the reflection for today. When is it wrong to pray for the success of a church or mission organization? You have to really think about that question today. I really had to ponder, is that, is that how it's really supposed to be worded? <laughs> and yes, the answer is yes. That's exactly what the author was going for. When is it wrong to pray for the success of a church or mission organization? And you may have some pretty creative answers to that question. Be careful, God is listening. <laughs> And then the meditation for, for this day. To begin with prayer means that our first longing is to hallow God's name and ask that his will be done. Is that the first thing that we do? And if it isn't, maybe, maybe we should reconsider how we're praying. I hope this has been encouraging to you um, as, we, as we finish day 11 and that whether you're at the start or the end of your day, that, that this has been time well spent. And the next thing you do will be blessed because you choose to pray. Let's pray right now. God, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to get together and, and to, to pray and to listen, listen for what you might say to us. God, we, we can have all the right systems in place, but God, it's you who do the work. And we ask that you would bless the work that we have set out to accomplish, um, believing that it's what you have for us. Would we seek your face to, to have you reveal your goodwill to, to us? Thank you for this day. Bless the rest of it. God, we pray it in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you again here tomorrow as we continue our series called Why Pray?